Dear Robert, if you're reading this, it means that I'm dead. But I wanted you to know that your sister's okay. It was my 15th birthday today. Mrs. Davenport and the whole family came. Everybody was there and they all sang. I, I knew I was special, but I didn't know I was this special. And then I got really nice presents too. Mommy gave me this pillow. It was so beautiful because it had a picture of my bunnies on it. And then after the cake and everything, you and me went to the barn to feed Meg. She loved it when you petted her ears. And even though I got scared when she licked my nose, you said it was only because she liked me. Today was my favorite day ever, but my favorite thing out of everything was you and me. When I woke up this morning, Mommy wished me happy birthday and said that I got more beautiful every day. But when she said it, she wasn't smiling. And then later I saw her and Mrs. Davenport talking and, and Mommy was crying. I, I don't think I did anything to make her mad, but I know there's something wrong. People have always looked sad when they saw me at church. Maybe it's because I don't talk like everyone else, or because I don't, I could never see too good. But they always looked at me like that. But I'm okay, really. Robert. This birthday seemed different to me. How? Because Mommy was sadder than before. All I remember was hearing her say that the doctor said it was about time now and that she had to, to let her little girl go. I, I know Mommy and Daddy have always left me even Though I haven't been in any of the family pictures, but you have always been there for me, and I wanted to thank you. You learned to run for me, and you made a home for my bunnies, and you pushed my wheelchair. Those might seem like little things to you, but, but for me, it, it reminds me that someone loves me. Once you told me that my face was the first face that you s saw when you were born. Well, the little things that you do for me are the first things that I remember when I wake up in the mor morning. Sometimes I think that's what keeps me alive. Now, Robert, if you're reading this, it means that I died somehow. But I don't want you to blame yourself. Somehow this wheelchair always told me that this time would come sooner than later. Still, some things are out of your control and I, it's not good for you if they think, if you think that they are. But I know that my life has been harder than Peggy's or or Stuart's, but I knew I could always smile. I want you to know that even when I die, you can smile too. Remember how small Meg was? Sometimes I think that she wish she could be a horse instead of a pony so that you could ride her. Even though she wasn't who she wanted, to be, she always held her head up high. I've learned to do that, and I'm, I think that you should learn how to do that when I die. 
I know I'll be okay. I've never been too strong, but God will take care of me here. Besides, I'll have my bunnies with me. And I'll always have you in my heart. But I don't want you to, to think that I'll think of you like the one who, who protected me from everything except from death. I, I, I want you to know that I'll think of you like my guardian. Like the brother who always loved from Rowena.